Hey, what's up guys? It's the final round and my name is Jordan. This is a channel where the episodes come out the day before the lines drop. Um, I take a look at the, the data and the analytics and uh, try to find the best opportunities and sometimes the worst opportunities for players and present that information to you so you can use it uh, when you're building uh, your, your tickets on prize picks or on other sports books uh, for your sports betting. I do have a Discord, the link is in the description. You can join that. And as the lines come out, there's discussion going on all day long. Um, really smart people um, giving their input from their research and it's a great community uh, to just discuss the lines and uh, find the best opportunities for the day. Um, I don't charge for picks. Um, I don't think you should pay for something that you uh, don't know if it's gonna work yet or not. So uh, if you win and you feel like giving back, you can donate. I have a cash app and a Venmo in the description at final round 11. And um, you can also press the thanks button on YouTube and that donates um, as well. But if you can, please like the video, just press the little thumbs up thing. Uh, press the subscribe button that says subscribe and uh, leave a comment uh, for the algorithm it really helps just just post something like your your favorite emoji and uh, just even if it's just one emoji and that comment um, is submitted it helps uh, the algorithm and getting the video out there so I would appreciate that um, but I got eight picks for you guys so let's get into it um, from here on out, I'm going to be looking at how a defense is playing for the last month, the last 30 days, and not for the whole season long. Uh, so when I give you the, the stats of uh, the defense gives up this much or this much, um, it's going to be for the last 30 days. Uh, so my first pick, he's coming back from injury. He should be active. Uh, Window Carter Jr. Uh, for the Magic up against the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets are not good against the center position. Uh, they give up the seventh most points, the most rebounds, and the fourth most blocks to the center position. Uh, so Window Carter, um, he doesn't score to he's not a huge scorer but he is a really good rebounder over his last five road games he's averaging 11 points nine rebounds and two assists so with him the hornets giving up the most rebounds we definitely want to look at that rebounds prop and see where they have it at um, i imagine it's going to be at 8.5 or 9.5 and uh, i think it's going to be a great spot for him uh, especially with Mo Bamba, uh, he kind of he replaced Wendell Carter last game, and Mo Bamba got in a fight. Not sure if he's going to be playing and taking minutes. Um, the only other center that takes minutes is a, uh, I'm going to butcher this, uh, Mor Mor Mortiz Wagner, um, Franz Wagner's brother. Um, he's a he's a good scorer. He's not a good rebounder. Um, so uh, if you want to look at a points prop for a center, look at a Mor Mortiz Vong Wagner. <laughs> And uh, he, he's a really good scorer. Uh, they might have his points prop up there. I've seen it up there a few times um, with the Hornets giving up so many points. But definitely window Carter rebounds is, is the look uh, for my first pick. And my second pick, I pointed this guy out. Um, he's been in the shadows. Gordon Hayward going up against the Magic. The Magic have given up the third most points, the most assists, and the most three-pointers made to the small forward position. And Gordon Hayward came back from injury. He's been really quiet. His last line was 11 and a half points. And uh, he's hit that four out of his last five games. Um, I think one game he had like nine points or something like that. But over his last five games since returning from injury, he's averaging an overall 15 points, three and a half rebounds and two and a half assists. So I'm really liking the points, especially if they keep it at the 11 and a half mark and the three pointers made because he he's a three point shooter. He sits in the corner and he shoots threes. So uh, I'm liking Gordon Hayward's points and, and uh, three points made my third pick it's on the other side i'm sorry i'm going back and forth uh with this game is franz wagner um since gordon hayward has come back he's not he's not a great defender the hornets give up the most points the fifth most rebounds the third most assists and the second most three pointers made to the small forward position franz wagner uh he's one of those guys uh he's he can he can do everything and he's a really good scorer over his last five road games, he has 16 points, five rebounds, 
and two and a half assists. So I definitely like the points here um, or three pointers made or overall PRA because the Hornets are just giving up everything possible. So Franz Wagner should have a great game against the Hornets. Uh, especially with Gordon Hayward guarding him. My fourth pick, uh, De'Aaron Fox is out for personal reasons. Uh, so that's 29.2% usage uh, for the Kings that just freed up. Uh, so we gotta look at uh, their next guy uh, for scoring, Demonis Sabonis. The Pelicans are giving up the six most points, the six least rebounds. So I'm just looking at points. And the third most assists, Sabonis is also a great passer. Over his last five road games, he has 21 and a half points, 13 and a half rebounds, and almost five assists. Uh, so definitely looking at points and assists uh, for Sabonis. Um, if you want to try to go for the rebounds, he is a great rebounder, um, but the Pelicans just aren't giving up that many rebounds, probably because uh, uh, Valanchunas uh, down low. He's also a great rebounder. And just a side note, uh, another guy who has high usage, uh, who may score a lot, is uh, Malik Monk. Uh, he comes off the bench and uh, takes a ton of shots. And uh, Harrison Barnes, I know everyone hates him recently, so he's on a lot of banned lists. Uh, but my guy is going to be Demonis Sabonis. My fifth pick, I'm looking at D'Angelo Russell up against the Nuggets. The Nuggets will be on a back-to-back -back and they give up the six most points and the third most assists to the point guard position. And that's what D'Angelo Russell does. He scores and he assists. Over his last five home games, he has 22 and a half points, five and a half assists, and a little over five rebounds. So we're definitely looking at his points prop to be around 22 and a half. You might see it at 23 and a half. And his assist, we want that to be around six. And uh, I'm definitely liking points and assists for D'Angelo Russell in this matchup. My sixth pick, uh, John Morant up against the Raptors. The Raptors have given up the seventh most points and the eighth most assists to point guards. And once again, you got another guy who scores a lot and he gets a ton of assists. Now I'm not sure, is this the game where Dylan Brooks is going to be suspended? Well, Dylan Brooks sucks anyway, so. Uh, it's probably going to be better that uh, those shots are going to be freed up. Over his last five home games, uh, John Morant has averaged 30 points, a little over nine assists, and five and a half rebounds. Uh, so definitely liking his points and assists up against the Raptors uh, in this matchup for John Morant. And my seventh pick, I get to pick a, a Cavalier, and I'm really happy about it because I normally don't pick many Cavaliers. But Evan Mobley has actually been on fire. They're playing the Pacers. The Pacers give up the second most points to the power forward position, the sixth most rebounds, the eighth most assist, and the third most blocks to the power forward position. Immobile over his last five road games has 18 and a half points, 10 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. Um, so definitely liking points and rebounds, and they do give up a lot of blocks. So you could look at fantasy score here. And they give up the eighth most assist. Uh, he doesn't get many assists, so his PRA uh, probably will be just too higher than points and rebounds. So you could throw the assist in there if you want to and just go PRA overall. Uh, so you can basically do anything you want with Evan Mobley up against the Pacers. In my eighth pick, I get to pick another Cavalier. Jared Allen up against the Pacers. The Pacers give up the third most rebounds to the center position. And Jared Allen over his last five road games has averaged nine and a half rebounds. And if you're curious, they give up the 16th most points to the center position. Um, so they're right there in the middle. And they also give up the 10th most blocks to the center position. And Jared Allen over his last five road games, he has almost 17 points and 1.2 blocks. So you could look at his fantasy score uh, and, and points and rebounds, but definitely rebounds uh, for Jared Allen up against the Pacers. So that's my eight picks. I uh, just want to make it nice, quick, and easy for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, God bless you all. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's the final round and my name is Jordan. Bye.